Worst jerseys in the NBA, Vancouver, Vancouver Grizzlies. When the they Vancouver had Grizzlies. I wasn't a big fan of those ones when those yeah, ones like came that. out. Which ones? That was like the when expansion, big country, like the, the first expansion, big country? like big country was there. Dang. Uh, they had Damon Stoudemire. Wasn't wow. he there? Was he Damon there? I've not heard in a while. They had, they had Khalid Reeves. That was one of my favorite players. Damon Stoudemire played for Portland. That's good. Yeah. No, no, no. In he, Toronto. He, he was in Toronto. Toronto. Ooh, he never yeah. played for Vancouver. Maybe he was there. Maybe. Was you're one of the best basketball minds I know. <laughs> See, now you say that See, here every <laughs> episode. Now let's fly. Take one. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Let It Fly podcast. My name is Tan, and with me are Gabe, JD, and Saul. We have someone else coming in, but we'll get to that in a bit. If you guys are wondering why the fellas are wearing NBA jerseys, well, we are celebrating NBA Jersey Day jersey today. Day. Everyone, flex what you Out got here. on. Flex, Out flex. Here. Uh, uh, shooter, uh, shoot, shooter, shoot, yes, uh, sir. shooter, shoot. Shooter, shoot. Ultimate shooter, yeah. shoot. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, that would never. We all got, got that. We got shooters. Except we got you. some shooters. Me? You kind of got a shooter. Who could kind of. What? Yeah. This guy's. Me and Gabe yeah. got shooters for real. What? This guy's gonna be fight again. We league. just started. <laughs> oh, just started. Okay, the intro. So <laughs> if you guys want to get these jerseys, or maybe check out. What else we have in the country, you you can go ahead and check out the NBA store at the SM Mall of Asia. That's the biggest one we have in the country. And there's another one that we have at the SM Mega Mall. And I did say that someone else was dropping by today. We missed him, not just on the show, but in our lives. Everybody, please say hi to JDV. What's going on? Also rocking his own jersey. What you rocking, bro? What you rocking over there? City on my chest all day. (laughs) City, I'm shooting. Shooter, shoot cream city on your chest. <laughs> so, Joe, why don't you yeah. tell everyone? I mean, we all see the jersey number, but whose jersey is that? This is uh, hmm? youngest after the two folks. What who? What's his name? What's his name? Youngest after the two folks. Cream city on my chest. In your face. In your face. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, God. I'll shoot him. <laughs> I'll put it on your chest, Cream City, all day. Hey, thank you, NBA yeah. Store, for sending the the, yeah. the Cream City all the all way out there. to LA. Look all at that! Way Shout way. out thank NBA you Store, man. So much. Hey. Shout this out NBA clean. Store. NBA Store, uh, NBA Joe. Store. All the clean. all the viewers, all the listeners, they've been missing you. They've been wondering when you were going to drop by again. So we heard you guys, and he is here. But we also have big plans for Joe. Soul. Yeah. What's happening? We we gonna hey, we got your word. You are gonna be on coast to coast, right? Let's go. I'm going to be there all day. Yeah, like we guys, like we told you guys uh, in our first episode, in our first session, sorry, mm-hmm. in our first mm-hmm. session, that Joe will first be uh, on our sessions with us frequently. Um, so we're looking forward to this goofy ass guy to be there with us. <laughs> Appreciate Let's you, Joe. Go. Hey. We love you, Jay. Hey, no, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Just seeing you guys on this thing again gets me emotional. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Thank you for having me for this Cream City jersey. Who owns it again? Whose jersey you know is it again? <laughs> huh? Cream City on my chest. Uh, Giannis Atatutupo on my back. <laughs> Joe, we love you. We, love you, we miss you. you man. I love Never you, man. change. Ever, man. Get some Never rest, bro. Never change. I, won't. I Just can't change grow your jersey. up. I tried, guys. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> we'll see you yeah, soon you on guys. Coast to love Coast, Joe. We'll love see you, guys. We love you a lot. Peace, peace, <laughs> love you, man. He just had to drop in and celebrate NBA Jersey Day with us. And while we're talking about jerseys, why don't we go ahead and get into the best and worst jerseys that you guys have seen in your entire span as NBA fans? Who wants to go first? Ooh. So go first. Who, who, was, who, who was Gabe's it? Gabe's big time jersey guy. So, yeah. I mean... For me, it's a little sentimental. I, I liked Allen Iverson growing up. He was one of my favorite players. And those black jerseys that they wore in the finals, kind of like thicker shoulder sleeve uh-huh. kind of action oh, you going guys on. Notice those with details. The gold, what, with the gold like kind of uh-huh. trim on yes. it. That, those were mm-hmm. those were one of my favorite jerseys of all time. I've never had it as a kid, never was able to get it, but you didn't have the one. Eric Snow? 
I didn't have the Eric Snow oh, or the Aaron McKee. I didn't have either okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> I had the AI, you know what I'm saying? I, had, I didn't no, have I the didn't have it. I had it in my mind. Yeah. Definitely, that definitely. That's one of, favorite favorite. <laughs> one of my favorite jerseys. Okay, so JD. Gabe never had it. NBA store, if you guys have I it I know, in right? Stock, if they bring them back. You know who to call. Yo, the retro. You know who to call. That would be tough. <laughs> that would be tough. That would be tough. Speaking of retro, since since I'm from Colorado, I always liked those old school Mile High City Line jerseys. Yeah. I thought Good those choice. were sick. Yeah, never had one. <laughs> never had one. Me and Jesse had one. So never had one. Just throw it out there. Just in case. That was Mellow? That was Mellow's time? No, before, way, before way, before, way before, way before that one, way they, before. They I'm talking like '80s, worn, early yeah. '90s. He's talking like Alex English, mm. Mm. like back that time. Thompson, yeah, Clay Thompson's dad, mm. John Thompson. <laughs> no, that's you was watching. That's the best. You was coach. watching at that time. <laughs> oh yeah, you old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there Thompson. with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was before. <laughs> Put in JD before on Before the blast. Pepsi Center. That was before the Pepsi Center. I mean, after all, I this believe. guy's 27 forever. 27 forever, mm-hmm. yeah. Nah, I just turned 28. 28. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank so, you. Thank you. Best jersey ever. Go ahead. I'm going to go with the pinstripe Orlando Magic. Ooh. Penny Hardaway. Mm, like Penny. Those. That was Shaq. one. Shaq Penny. Those are great ones. Yeah. Yeah. Those Anderson, are dope, bro. Dennis Scott. Like, yeah. they was... Those get mixed reviews from a lot of people. but those are... Yeah, I like those. They're wow. dope. They kind of copy the, the Bulls pinstripe. Right. Because the mm. Bulls pinstripe obviously dope, too, but... Yeah, I like those. How about all star jerseys? Does anything like. Ooh, man. You remember the ones that had like the cactuses? Those are dope. The ones in. I oh, San Antonio, the teal, the teal San Antonio ones. ones. Those yeah, are San Antonio yeah, 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 ones. Yeah. The teal ones? I like those. You like those? I actually liked when they wore their own jerseys. True. Those oh, are cool. Yeah. That was true. Yeah. Just dark and light. And yeah, yeah, dark and there. light. Where you like jersey. I thought those were dope. You remember that year when they came out with the sleeve jerseys? Was that like 2014, 2013? How do we feel about yeah, those? Yeah, LeBron won a championship in one of those jerseys, the black one. I remember. So that Cleveland, that makes it for you. that makes it cool. <laughs> that makes it cool yeah. that he would rip every time. He would always right? rip it. Yeah. yeah. So does it count? Was it still? <laughs> I mean, I rip my jersey. See my arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's just problems that we have. Gotta Those rip, gotta are the rip. problems, problems that, that we... they have. Yeah, me and Bron and LeBron. They, they have the same. They <laughs> have, have the, the same problems. problems. <laughs> no, no, I really do. We, before I would grab my jersey and have to rip it here because I'm really like yeah, the big barrel chest. Your yeah, chest. I'm really big right here, so I had to rip it. And sometimes I would like rip it too much. You have to give me a new jersey because I'm real strong. Like nips would show. I take the pre workout. <laughs> just oh. in game pre workout <laughs> in game slips. <laughs> now they give you extra jerseys just in case they knew I ripped it. All right, that's a lot. We're talking a lot of is this real? Saw ripping jerseys. Uh, yeah. yeah. How about how about me. worse jerseys? Okay, worse, worse jerseys. jerseys. Yes, we have to talk about that. Go first. Uh, worst jerseys in the NBA: Vancouver, Vancouver Grizzlies. When the Vancouver they had those. Grizzlies. I wasn't a big fan of those ones when those yeah, ones like came that. out. Which ones? That was like the when expansion, big country, like the, the first expansion, big country? like big country was there. Dang. They, uh, they had Damon Stoudemire? Wasn't wow. he there? Was he Damon there? Stoudemire? I'm not heard in a while. They had Khalid Reeves. That was one of my favorite players. Damon Stoudemire played for Portland. That's good. Yeah. No, no, no. In he, Toronto. He, he was in Toronto. 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 Yeah. Ooh, he never yeah. played for Vancouver. It's Bibby all good was though. there. Bibby. Bibby was there. Ooh. You're one of the best basketball minds I know. <laughs> See, now you say that see, every go. episode. See? Okay, so you were the one who brought up worst jerseys. What would be your choice? I'm going to go with the... Cream City, not the Cream oh, City, no. but okay, the Milwaukee okay. Bucks when they had like the deer on it, big, big dog. Oh, yeah. oh, the they had deer. the deer on it. That's yeah, that right. was not deer. purple and green. Purple. Not cute. Those, yeah, those are nasty. Yeah, I forgot that, about that. I agree. You liked them back then? No, 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 no. no, no? I only liked them. <laughs> you don't like them with Giannis? Starting like 2013. When Jason Kidd <laughs> became their head coach. Yeah, head coach. That was when uh, I started liking yeah. them. Yeah, so back in the day, I was a Phoenix Do you think Jason Kidd's a good coach or? J- uh, Gabe, we're- <laughs> <laughs> what was that? she's like, "What's my safe word?" What's my safe word? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Mister could never say a negative thing. Let's try to get it out of him. Worst jersey ever. Well, I thought of one earlier, but I have to. I, I'm going back on it. Mine's is the gold, the gold Washington Wizards jerseys that were like oh, Gilbert oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that were like okay. super, like they looked like they were satin or something. They, it was not a good <laughs> look. They're, no, silk, sorry. Not okay. silk and satin. <laughs> silk. But those weren't a good look because they had the two-tone shorts. It was a gold jersey yeah. and then they had the oh, black yeah. shorts. Oh, okay. yeah. Match? Yeah. yeah. I, I remember those. those. Different. I wasn't a, a fan of those. Yeah. Those very much. Well, and that, growing up in the area, too, I, I definitely didn't want to buy. You did not appreciate I was that. hoping I didn't get that one on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, NBA star, if you forget, don't send no, it don't again. Send no, those. Yeah. 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 No. While we're throwing it back, why don't we... Go ahead and think back to the times where, you know, we didn't really have enough money yeah. to buy our own mm. jerseys and we had to save up for stuff. What was the first jersey you ever bought, NBA jersey that you ever bought with your own money? 
Ooh. Hard earned money. I got one already off the bat. Mm. Um, I bought a Manu Ge- Ginobili jersey, like Ooh. an official one. Yeah. Because I was really like pro Manu and I finally had some cash where I could spend for an authentic one. <laughs> yes. You got authentic. So you skipped like the, the swing man jersey. Like the, I went straight. You went straight authentic. authentic. Yeah. Had some weight to had it. Had a black one. Yeah. Super weight to it. Yep. I got why, a black why one. Why Manu? Why Why? Just that? like at the D. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Thanks, Saul. Yeah. <laughs> What else? <laughs> Answer my question. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> nah, Euro step, lefty. You flopped a lot. There's a moment I used to <laughs> flop a lot. <laughs> I used to flop like my first three years. I was like all into like tricking the the <laughs> opponents and flopping just because he did. This dude bought a jersey because it got <laughs> flopped. <laughs> I need that. Yo, everything he that. did, man, I was like, yeah, you're cool, man. That's like, wild. Like your Lefty, flopper, love him, gotta have a jersey. Gotta have it. Euro stepping, <laughs> catching bats. Yeah. 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 Oh, you okay? <laughs> I think mine's, I can't remember if it was my own money or a gift, but uh, it was probably, it was a Nike. Remember when Nike did like the rewind jerseys? Mm. So it was like they had like Marcus Canby in the in the skyline and the, the Denver skyline. Okay. They had so okay. it was the. He don't remember. Was, I don't remember either. You don't He's remember. Just Nike okay. He's just saying okay, but go ahead. <laughs> so basically, it was the AI and like the PHILA in the Philly jersey. Mm-hmm. I remember the that. red mm-hmm. one. I, that was one of the first ones. And then, but the earliest memory I have with a jersey is actually the teal Detroit Pistons. I got a Grant Hill jersey, Ooh. and that was probably one of my first jerseys I remember having as a kid. He was supposed to be the truth. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. He was. Well, I mean, just like the longevity. Yeah, yeah. I could have been yeah. like the goat, like true. type. What could have been? Nasty. How about yeah. you, Saul? Um, off air, we were um, a few days ago. You we were talking about how when you were younger, it wasn't really like a possibility for you to just keep on buying jerseys. Yeah. So it was probably like stole like some a from goal. the flea market. <laughs> 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 what was your first stolen? <laughs> Stolen jersey. <laughs> like, what was the one that you really, really wanted when you were a kid, but you just couldn't get? Was for sure AI. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that, yeah. but that was my favorite player of all time. But the first jersey I ever bought was probably like as an adult. I bought a LeBron James jersey. Like as mm-hmm. an adult. Yeah. Like yeah. straight up. That was probably the first jersey I bought. I like gotta, rookie year? Um, nah, I was making that rookie. No, yeah, not rookie. you. Oh, oh, his rookie him. year. Oh, his rookie yeah. year? Nah, nah. This is like recent. <laughs> Talking about him again. <laughs> this is like recent. So, I was like, your, your rookie year? I was like, nah. No. <laughs> they couldn't afford it then either. <laughs> <laughs> what team were you playing for? Hey. His team. <laughs> hey, shots fired. <laughs> this guy. Uh, so it was uniform traded. across the league. Yeah, 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 just to let everybody up. know. He's trying to uh, take a shot my team it was uniform across the board <laughs> sure everyone believes that yeah, yeah, it's yeah all sure uniform. it was uniform uh-huh. across the board <laughs> it was uniform <laughs> let you tell it <laughs> same draft class <laughs> so once again, we all got paid the same everyone <laughs> happy nba jersey day everybody and if you don't have one yet go check one out at your nearest nba store you can find them in sm mega mall and the sm mall of asia so okay. nba opening day is right around the corner oh, is everyone excited does everyone have league pass yet Oh, yeah. Mine's five automatic years in, right? Yeah. Locked in. Automatic Locked renewal. Auto renew. Nice ready, to go. Like ready to go. Ready to do it. Ready to go. Way to go. So there are two games that are slated for mm-hmm. NBA opening day. First, let's talk about the Lakers versus the Nuggets. Everyone's excited. Well, except Laker fans, because the Nuggets <laughs> are going to be getting their rings, yep. their championship rings, and it just happens to be against the team that they swept. Yeah. So cool. Cold in game. the playoffs. I love it. Storyline. First of all, Great if, if you were a Laker and this was happening in front of you, how would you feel? I mean, for, for guys like Braun and AD, they have their rings, too. I, I think that's, as a vet, that's kind of like little teaching points for your rookies and your young guys. You know what I mean? Pay attention. We'll get there soon type Ooh, of moment. I like that. I'd like to think. So, I mean, it should be interesting. Opening day. I mean, I like how Nuggets are rubbing it in their face <laughs> a little you bit. You would. I'm and not surprised that you're Colorado saying that. And, you know, they talk to... So LeBron and AD a little bit about that, and they're just kind of holding their tongues, like yeah, yeah, just wait and see. Yeah, you know, I know you guys are having your fun. You won your chip, but okay, just keep keep mm. doing, keep that same energy. Yeah. So I love narratives like that playing out, and uh, I want I want to see some magic on that day. Yeah. Do you think this was deliberate? Absolutely, for yeah. sure. Oh, for yeah. sure, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't set up the schedule, but I'm sure once they saw 
that that Lakers were coming in, they're like, oh yeah, let's, let's set it up. The rings will be ready. Yeah, the rings will be ready. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. Let's even, and they're even like though, rushing. Even though it wasn't a championship game, like let's show how we swept them. All right, right, <laughs> you know, right. Just, yeah, NBA, but I mean, they're good for that. Don't poke the bear. I mean, like it's poked. especially with it's yeah, they've been poking it, and just like you said, yeah. AD and Braun been like, all right, cool. It's just fuel to the fire. I would love to see them go up. Again in the playoffs because it's going to be a whole different story this I time. Agree. Like I agree. you, you fun. gave them too much fuel. Like the coach, mm -hmm. what he said, all that stuff. Like it's too mm -hmm. much fuel for these guys that are elite players to, you know. Hopefully they play. Just we'll stay see. Well, okay, yeah. talking about fuel, right? It's going to happen like minutes before tip off. Yeah. You think they are going to use it as fuel? How? Who do you think is going to take this one? I think the Lakers. I mean, it's it's to go on like an emotional high like that you get in your rings and all that it's 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 hard to kind of like lock in you see a lot of guys i don't know what the statistics are but a lot of people on ring night end up losing their game but it's day one like it's game one yeah. mm -hmm. i'm yeah. sure like they're not like we gotta whoop them on day one you right. know what i'm saying but i'm if sure if you were a laker would you be affected i wouldn't be affected but i would definitely want to beat them on yeah their ring night for sure yeah, you want to mess yeah. it up yeah. for them for sure I think I'm going with the Nuggets. Like, I, like I agree with you though. Outside of all these um, external distractions that are happening within the Nuggets, I know that there may be in a championship hangover that people like to talk about. But I think that since they're being counted out so badly, I think that kind of rubs mm. them off the wrong way. So, uh, against all the odds, I, I think the Nuggets will take it. So one one for the Lakers and the Nuggets. Who you got, Gabe? I might I might go with the Lakers too, only because the the Nuggets for me the pieces they lost with Bruce Brown, Brown mm -hmm. huge Jeff Green, yeah. you know what I mean with yeah. the pieces they lost though they you know they already are established as a great team. Um, I, I'd be interested to see on opening night how all that looks. Um, and I they think didn't the Lakers will come out. Yeah, they I mean, lost those guys, but yeah. didn't re up. Yeah, on, yeah. on anyone else True. like so. Yeah. Guys are gonna have to step up, but at the end of the day, it's it's game one. Uh, they got what three more matchups throughout the course of the year mm -hmm. to see who wins that kind of in season series between the teams. So I, I think the Lakers get the first one and and start off the NBA season. With so the okay, it's Saul and Gabe for the Lakers, and then JD is saying Nuggets. If you guys want to send your reactions in or maybe your opinions, the comment section is wide open. And now let's go to the second game. For opening day, it's going to be the Suns versus the Dubs. CP3 is playing for the Warriors yeah. for the first time. It's crazy. How is that going to look? Who you guys got? This Man. is this is Katie's first time. They said like, playing back in Golden State since they won. Word? Yeah. Is it? Oh That's wow! Dope. I heard that. Yeah, this is That's his dope. first time playing in Golden State since they won the ring. That's, That's incredible. So they're going to have like a. I think they're going to do a tribute, tribute for him and all that. Oh, makes dope. sense. Yeah, so they're going to do a tribute for him, throw him off a little bit, make him feel like <laughs> make it real cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get some yeah. real comfortable real quick. I'll really throw a tribute, get some tears nah, in your eyes yeah. a little bit, then bust shy eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think the Warriors take this one. Like, I, mm. I think opening night, that crowd's going to be crazy. Like, they're going to soften KD up a little bit mm. and then, you know, bring it to him. But it's going to be interesting. I, I like from what I've seen from CP3. In the preseason, of yeah. what he's yeah. doing, his role he's taking on at, at, with the Warriors, so I think he fits in pretty well. Yeah, that's dope. I think Suns are going to take it. I, I really think they're just they're on a mission. They got all the horses on board. KD, he's going to be locked in. He's a vet. Yeah. Outside of these tributes and first time playing, like I think he's past all that. I think that's just another piece to this big puzzle that they're just trying to get to the finals so i think they're going to set the tone they're going to be on top of it from the beginning like i think the suns are going to take it yeah. easily yeah. warriors easily. play without draymond also true so you mean no draymond? draymond draymond yeah draymond, draymond. thank you draymond <laughs> <laughs> raymond raymond with a d draymond people have this notion of of kd being a little emotional like yeah. i think they're thinking about how he is on twitter but mm. on the yeah. court, no he's emotions. A troll, man. Yeah, like, he's straight. He locks in. Locks in. in. Locks in. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on on Phoenix as well. I can't wear the jersey. Oh, that's and not true. Go with Phoenix. Be weird. But Gabriel. even outside of the big three, I think what they did with their roster as a whole. Yeah. Like Watanabe, yes. had Grayson well. Allen, Watanabe. Eric Gordon, Grayson Eric Gordon. Gordon. Been doing really he's well so in underrated, bro. A Kogi solid. He's been there, but I like a Kogi like. And no more Eaton, I think little. will be great yep. for them. Like yep. there's there's a lot of pieces that they put around, you know, their big three now that I they think they will. that really 
Yeah. For the for the long term, you know, who knows if that's what stands out in, in game one. But I think long term down the year is really going to pay off for them um, in certain matchups. OK, so how does everyone think Bradley Beal is going to do his first game as a son? I think he's going to play great. I think yeah. he's going to crush it. Like, he, he's proven that he can be the guy or he can play, you know, John mm -hmm. Wall for majority of his mm -hmm. his career to where he could kind of be in the background a little bit and, and play off of his yeah. teammates and things. So I think Bradley Beal is going to just a matter of if he stay healthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually the case. Because ain't no one questioning him as a basketball player. Yeah, it's not just at all. Stay healthy. I would like to think they're going to try to get him going just to, yeah, just to make him feel yeah. like, mm -hmm. hey, you're yeah. with us. Let's yeah. go. Like yeah. we're behind you. Like I wouldn't be surprised if he puts up twenty five thirty. I don't know about that, but yeah. First I'm against saying, against, against the Dubs right now. Oh, for the Dubs. <laughs> We're going to go back to this. I'm living on the right. high right yeah. now, getting that Asian Games gold <laughs> correct. <laughs> Never happened in 60 years, and I called it. You did call it. I did call you it. You did very, very So if bravely. I call this Bradley Beal situation, hello. We, again, we're going to go back to the statement for well, sure. You're really going to have to be, keep saying that if that happens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the long summer wait is over, and basketball action is finally back in our lives. Huge thanks to the sponsor of today's video, DraftKings Sportsbook, who has a special offer to celebrate the return of ball. By just throwing down $5 on any game, new customers will instantly get $200 on bonus bets. Win or lose. Basketball is more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Let It Fly. New customers will get up to $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Let It Fly. The crowd is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler or visit www.1800Gambler.net. In New York, call 8778 HOPE NY or text HOPE NY 467369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 789 7 777 or visit ccpg.org please play responsibly on behalf of boot hill casino and resort licensee partner golden nugget lake charles 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction void on ont bonus bets expire 168 hours after insurance see sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions terms and responsible gaming resources wrapping up opening day talk now let's fast forward to the future every single one of these four teams are fully capable of taking it all the way to the end, but why don't we talk about championship odds? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It seems like it's so far away, <laughs> but the season just zips by True. for some reason, mm -hmm. right? Let's talk about how DraftKings yeah. Yeah. put together their championship odds. Yeah, so right. they put the Bucks and the Celtics on mm. top okay. at mm. plus 400. How do we feel about two Eastern two teams, Eastern teams Eastern though. making teams. it That's to the top of their list? I mean, Celtics look nasty. As much I love the Bucks, I was yeah. saying in the last episode, like I, I think they're gonna make it. But just the more you look at the Celtics and what they got, I, like it's, I think it's just Boston that's standing in the Bucks' yeah. way, right? Because right. Philly, you, I mean, depending uh, on how you got too many distractions, out, right? With. Maybe, but it depends where you peak, I guess. But just seeing, man, just seeing Jalen Brown and Jace, Jason Tatum, like they, they're not looking like little homies anymore. They're looking like. Let's get it done. Like, let's get it mm -hmm. done. Full on families, full on just they're they've maturing. been through the ringer. They've they're matured. matured. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if if it's a matter hey, of Chris Tops can yeah, stay healthy. If he can yeah. keep that together, that same energy he's mm. been bringing. Right. Yeah, we talked about it before. Like, I felt like Robert Williams was a big yeah. loss yeah. for them. And you know, you're relying on Porzingis staying healthy, Horford, and then you have like kind of a carousel of guys that can fill in. You know, being that backup four or five. Derek White. But, I, I like Boston a lot. I think Milwaukee, I get it. I think Chris Middleton's due to come back and, and be right mm. back where he used mm. to be. And mm. that'll be huge because he's going to have wide open shots. Yes. Even more yeah, so now bro. with yeah. Dame and, and with Giannis down there. Mm -hmm. So I think it was Dame it who said sense. he's never been more open. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure. So I, I get it. Those two teams at the top yeah. make sense. It always me. seems like the question is, is like for each team, is they got to stay healthy. Yeah. That, that is mean, really sports, the template sports. with sports. Healthy. Like, if they can stay healthy, then they got a shot. That's sports. And we didn't even talk about Drew. Drew Not being even, over there. We right? said Kristaps. That's true. Well, I mean, he's, a, he's one of the biggest reasons why yeah, they're up sure. there. That's why. Sure. Exactly. Because he's not there. I don't think I don't think they're that high on DraftKings yeah. for us. So. Makes sense. Agreed. Do you think it's weird that, I mean, if you look at the West, it's stupid. Packed. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. It's crazy. But then if you ask basketball heads they will have the bucks and the Towards celtics the at the mm -hmm. top of their list mm -hmm. yeah i'm surprised to see the nuggets up there 
Honestly, where are the like, Nuggets at right now for the they're, odds? They're third. They're third, they're third, yeah. third yeah. on DraftKings. Yes. Yeah, it goes. It goes Bucks, uh -huh. Celtics, then the Nuggets. Mm -hmm. Five fifty. Yeah, so it's like that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy that they're there. Yeah, they just yeah. they're the defending champs, so you got to respect them. But they lost pieces, and everybody else retooled. What yeah. is DraftKings seeing that we're not seeing? Maybe Jokic. Yeah, the yeah. Fact yeah. That yeah. I just how much of uh, an impact would that add to his legend status because. If, if he wins another one mm -hmm. yeah. because of this whole like bravado sure. of him not caring, hasn't touched a ball, just yeah. out, shows up. Oh, I'm just going to ball out again. Yeah. No big deal. Like, this will be his toughest ring. Yeah. If he wins this. If they can win ring. another one. That's true. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Because mm -hmm. But all teams are stacked. I'm excited for this season. This season is going to be sick. It's going to be yeah, fun. Like, it's going to give really us like sick. 2016 vibes again. Right. Like, it's going to be dope. <laughs> it's going to be super fun. Yeah. Well, if you had your way, if you were putting this list up, where would you put the Nuggets? If DraftKings list them at third. I keep them top maybe seven, eight. Ooh, so I not in the yeah, top three. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say top five. I think I'll put Lakers over them and oh, the Suns. Really? Put, well, the Suns. Yeah, yeah. The Suns, the Suns, 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 Suns are at four. Lakers. Yeah. The Suns are at fourth. Yes, they're at plus six fifty. How do we feel about that? I think they got to prove yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's just the the fact that they haven't done it yet. Like, right. They haven't. I mean, they were in the finals are there chemistry recently. Chemistry questions. But it has to be right. No, no, from like the every outside. super team. Yeah, from every the super outside. team that comes together, mm -hmm. there is there's always this. They don't win right away. They don't win right away. But, so, man, we'll see. There's three guys. That's that's a tough lineup right there to to really compete with on a, a nightly basis. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned the Lakers. You said that you put them at third on top of the Nuggets. They're actually at fifth at plus one two. How do we feel about the Lakers being there? I like the I like the Lakers a lot. What I've seen from the preseason, like the 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 roster that they put together. I mean, Rob Palenka did an amazing job mm -hmm. because they're no longer reliant on LeBron. Like yeah. they they these guys, D'Lo got better. Yeah, Austin Reeves is gonna take that mm -hmm. jump. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Plus, they put pieces around him that yeah. guys are. And AD is the best. Like he came in yeah. preseason saying he's not only the best defensive player in the league right now. Wemby's Wemby's gonna <laughs> make him shoot for that. He's, Wemby's stupid, yeah. but yeah. AD AD it, he came in like he had five blocks in like nine minutes. Right. last game, bro. going like, after everything. Stupid, crazy. Going yeah, so everything. like he's gonna really he looks really really good. I think the Lakers are gonna be there. So I got a question real quick for you. Do you think the Lakers are gonna make some crazy changes? before or after the all-star break because like usually like yeah. you think like for me just because i'm asking this question because i don't think the lakers have enough and i think they're they're going to make some type of change Ooh. big change because they have to pivot and something has to happen because it's just not working in the beginning like that's how i see them right now i don't what think, do you they, think they need man i wish i was a basketball god Yo, <laughs> <laughs> that, that might help um i can't say right now i, I just I, I think they're deep i think they yeah. have everything they need so like you say no you say like they're not gonna they're, make any changes you gonna, think they have enough right now i mean if someone comes it. available like you know there's crazy stuff that happens where guys are just bought out right you know no, what no, I get it could that. be a championship piece but you know like you said you like them and they're super deep you think right now they're roster intact they got what it takes championship ready Okay. One hundred percent. I want to see. They're it, bro. deep. They got guys in every position. Big words. They're 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 solid. Yeah. I okay. think they we, uh, depending on how again I'll AD stay sure healthy. Mm, exactly. Yeah. LeBron yeah, stay yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah. If that happens, if AD hits his mark of playing like seventy plus games, then let's see. Is different. There are Facts. a lot of factors. Health being number one, yeah. but championship odds wise, the the top five are the Bucks, the Celtics, the Nuggets, the Suns, and the Lakers. Any dark horse that you want to throw in there. Man, I mean, there's another team in L.A. M Miami. Miami, if they get Harden, I, I, there'll be there's some rumblings. Of, there's, there's a lot of what is. There'll be something. I think, I mean, in terms of health, I feel like the, the team that's always talked about is the Clippers, too. Mm -hmm. Whether it's, it's Kawhi, yeah. PG, if Harden, you know, there, the, right. the moves, and there might if be they something. do get Harden as well. I think I Harden think messes them up. Really? You think so? The yeah. ball is more out of Kawhi. Kawhi, Paul George, Russ. Like where does Russ, he fit in? Keep where does he about fit Russ? in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. That's yeah, tough. I don't think he. Fits but I think in. I think Miami though, bro. As is right now, Clippers healthy. They they're, they're probably. I, I haven't seen the rest of DraftKings list, but they have to be somewhere in the top ten, right around there, something like that. So I, I'll say the Clippers. Don't sleep on the Kings now. I knew you were gonna say. I that. knew you were gonna say it too. I, I was just waiting for it. I you know who I think people are a lot of sleep on. They're fun to watch. Are really sleep on 
that I think did an amazing job and I think they will surprise a lot of people. Maybe people think that, oh, they're just tanking or they're not. It's Portland. No, I'm, I was oh, going to say. Portland. Really? Bro, Dude, I like all the moves. Amazing job. They got pieces. When you look to win Ross, now? Not, no. No. Yeah. He's but not to what, be to there, be like, the play, not yeah, maybe playing maybe games. Not gonna be six to eight, eight. Six. Okay. It wouldn't surprise. I, I, I really like They, they like weren't rushing to get Dame out. They knew Dame wanted out, but they really waited for the right offer. Yeah. And I think they did it. I think Scoot Henderson going to surprise a lot of people. Yeah. Anthony Simons is looking good. Shaden Sharps coming into his own. And Deandre you got the big Aiden. fellas, Aiden, William, on, Robert Williams, and then mm-hmm. Jeremy Grant's still there. Yeah. I like, I, like, I like Portland's like first eight or nine. They still got Damon Stoudemire? Or? <laughs> Damon Stoudemire. <laughs> I think Portland. I don't Rashid, think. Rasheed Wallace is still in there. <laughs> no, we're, we're cutting all that out. We're Bonzi cutting that out. Bonzi Wells is the. Bonzi <laughs> Wells. Bonzi Wells. Holy cow. Wow, we old, man. Yeah, we are old. I bet the kids don't know who we're talking about. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Saul, you don't know who that is? 28. I don't know how old I was when he was on the team. Bonzi Wells. Solid answers as usual for the guys. But we want to know what you think. Let us know your favorite jerseys, the worst ones. We want on your predictions for NBA opening day. And of course, do you agree about the championship odds that we just gave you from DraftKings? The comment section is wide open. Let us know what you think. And thank you once again for watching another episode of the Let It Fly podcast. Watch out for Coast to Coast with Joe. Bye. Yes, sir. Stay out them shadows. Shadows, shadows.